What's poppin' this Enzo McFly, Enzo? It's comedian Jeff Shelley. OTG underscore Breezy. It's Kel in the building. Why yo, Benji? It's your boy Mikey Iso. It's your boy ESG. What's up, what's up? It's your girl Ingrid here. Hey man, you already know who it is. DJ me Daniel. It's your girl, your cocky Diana. Wait! Man, shout out to GMT Radio K22. Hey, y'all know what's going on, man. It's your boy Counterfeit, man. Same old fake shit, just a different day. It's Kool-Aid, not a drink for you kids, huh? Hey, I'm rocking with Catch 22 Radio, man. Y'all know what it is, man. It's Catch 22 Radio on GMTRadio.com. Woo woo! I just heard it first. Way to kick it off. <laughs> Way to start it up. Say it smell like new fortune paper powder. <laughs> 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 All right, y'all. So it's time for our next guest. Okay. Now she my top five MC. I agree. If we gonna put it out there, she my top five. And she one of the dopest that I ever heard. I listen to her all day, every day. And I got a Kenny Man shirt on because I'm a biggest fan. You do got a And she angry. And she angry. She hate niggas. A lot. I mean, oh inverse. Oh my God. Yeah. I hate words. Sorry. Yeah. I, I do apologize, but she hate them. She does not like them. <laughs> it's getting them up, man. Pip and Ken in the building. What's poppin', baby? What's the <laughs> Back, yeah. I want to come back all the time. <laughs> I'm like, damn, this is my show, right? <laughs> we definitely missed you. So what's been going on with you? Um, nothing much. I've been like trying to stay away from social media, but I still be on there. But I don't really be on there. Uh -huh. you know? What that so, mean? Because like, uh -huh. you know how you be on there, but you don't scroll, but you just post. Because I mean, I feel like I be posting some funny shit, some stuff mm -hmm. sometimes. So I be wanting y'all to laugh with me, but I have been trying to like focus on my EP and stuff because I'm just never satisfied. It's been done like five times. <laughs> it's been done like five times. It's undone again. So it's like, that's what I've been doing. Trying to get it together so it can be the best. So what's the hold up? You ain't got no more me in the badge? Oh, yeah. I kind of am dry. <laughs> Somebody dry. like shooting her DM so it can be another hit. Like no, no, nobody need to break my heart again. <laughs> I feel like Ken gonna kill somebody. Next time, I'm like, it's over for you. I'm like, okay, good. Next time, I'm gonna make an example. I'm gonna be sitting in jail. <laughs> He's the man. He's locked up for manslaughter. Yeah, literally, man. She was dragging a body down the street. <laughs> <laughs> now you make hit after hit after hit after hit after hit. I have to do one more. Uh, what is your writing process like? Like what? What are, what are you doing in that time? Um, I just kind of find myself in random places, like the bathroom, like in the closet. Standing on top of the car or something like that. I just write randomly because <laughs> I be a little dry, you know, so I have to kind of like jump around. I twerk a little bit sometimes. <laughs> so I be like asking my son, I be like, uh, what, 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 what should I rap about on this beat? And he's still on freestyle and I do a little bit of that, but I don't really have a, a like a certain way I write. It's just different every time. Sometimes the verses come first, sometimes the hook comes first. So it's just, it's just kind of my mind do what it want to do. I know but I don't. writing all the places. Like in the restroom, you think about how he cheated on you. Uh -huh. In the closet, you was taking all his clothes down and burning. Uh -huh. And on the car, you was kicking in his windshield. Yeah, yeah. So you was like, here go, hit, hit, hit. That happened. No, for real, that's the problem. Are these all personal? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a, a lot of, well, I mean, personal for like my friends too, because I kind of, what they tell me, I be putting that in my music. And my friend, uh, her baby daddy was like, I think Katavia will be talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I think that's about us. And she was like, it is. You didn't think it is. <laughs> so, yeah, I pulled from, like, different experiences. And right now, I'm kind of shutting off the world. So, I don't really have no experiences because I don't really go out much. So, I'm trying to figure out how to do it without doing it, you know. So, I'm trying to live through, like, movies and stuff right now. But I'm watching scary movies. Don't nobody want to help. <laughs> don't nobody want to help. How many songs do you want on your, on your EP? I want like 12 or 14. That's an album. That's an album. I mean, man. I called it an album, but then I was just like, dang, am I ready for that type of life? Like, <laughs> yeah. Am I ready for an album life? But I mean, yeah, I want to make music. I just don't know what I'm going to do with it. Yeah. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Yeah. Like, I mean, you know, it's going to sound like one. You know what I'm saying? It's not like a tape. It don't sound like a tape at all. That's why I'm juggling that, like my rawness and like my softness. I'm trying to mix it. Yeah. Like, 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 I'm trying to mix it.
so it can be like not boring because I feel like right now it's kind of boring and I like making music for guys too because guys listen to me. So, I heard not one guy song. They don't all bash men, but. Expensive is. Yeah, they do not all bash men. Oh, there was a butt in there. But you know, they, <laughs> <laughs> they don't. Y'all just, I learned one thing. Y'all dudes, in words, y'all are one track minded. So if y'all hear one thing, y'all make it like times three. That's, 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 look, look, look. Think about, I made like 20 freestyles, not about y'all, and like three songs about yeah. y'all, and y'all write so about look, look. guys, like, right? Freestyle is cool, but all your originals and visuals bashing us. So you are the freestyle I had to <laughs> Look, <laughs> the first song was a bad sex. I, if I listen to the fourth song, oh, she about to. So she say look, something is like. If yeah. it helps, my daddy is the one that told me to drop the first one. So get on him because. Man, I was hard though. I don't even lie. It was yeah. hard though. He told me to drop it. I wasn't even gonna drop it. And yes, the women love you. So when are we looking for this EP two drop, kid? Definitely, it's not going past November. Hopefully. Nah, you know what? It ain't going past. I'ma force myself to put it out before November. Over. So like we go November 25th. All hey, right. And we gonna hold you to it. Not for real. It's gonna be pre-orders and all of that. Ooh. And I'ma come up here and I'ma let y'all hear it. Right? Hey, look, I got a quick okay. Kenna Man story. Okay. The first time I ever saw Kenna Man perform, I went to my homeboy little event. It was at a live oak, right? Mm -hmm. So this is chick and she come up and they screaming Kenna Man. I'm waiting for Kenna Man to come up, but this is a chick. Right. So I see her sitting down and she start rapping. I'm telling my homeboy, bro, she got bars. He like, bro, she hard. I like, what you mean, bro? She sitting out because she got shot. <laughs> What? <laughs> What's <going on? laughs> She's hard. Hey, to this day, I don't know if that story was true, but it's one of the things your mother said. You like, bro, that's live, bro. <laughs> oh my God! Look, I told my friend, I was like, it's weak that I got bit by a spider. I'm gonna tell everybody. I got with the rap and everything. I'm like, oh, she oh, really she out here, bro. Yeah, she, she got shot in the street like she was out here. Like, we on South Mall, we in, we in it. So I'm like, okay, man. Oh, I can't believe you. your friend told you that because I told somebody, he was like, what's wrong? Uh, I said, I got shot. I said it on the stage, too. I'm just like, I'm sorry, I got to sit down, y'all. <laughs> I got shot, but I was like, I did kind of get shot. I got shot up with a little venom. I had to die. <laughs> I had to die. So I do gotta ask this question, Ken, because I have a homeboy who didn't know who you who you were at the time, and I put the name Ken the man, and he was like, "Oh no, what is happening?" So yeah, can you explain to the people where you got the name Ken the man from? Uh, a mistake. Uh, I just uh, <laughs> a mistake. I typed it in. I, t I was gonna go by Ken because my real nickname is Ken, and it wasn't available on SoundCloud, so I typed in the man, and then it just my all my friends was like. Like, you really a little boy, you know? Like, that's you. Like, you, you a whole little nigga out here. So, we were like, I think that should be your name. And I, I kept hearing it. Like, that should be your name. And just like, I was like, you know, Ken still sound like a boy, you know? Like, so I can't just go by Ken. I was like, no, the man is like, it's demanding. Like, it's like screaming attention and stuff. So, it just kind of, it fits me. Like, I love it because it is me. Like, I was raised by my dad. I grew up. Looking at life through his perspective, not a woman, you know, I've always been under my dad, so I can kind of see why a lot of my ways are kind of Negro-ish. <laughs> we play Negro-ish. <laughs> so it just kind of stuck with me with that, and then it's like, you know, I go hard kind of like a guy I've heard. I'm, yeah. <laughs> so I've heard. So I kind of just, you know, ran with it like that. So with that being said, how do you feel when they say, oh, you rap like a dude and you're MC, so why can't it just be I'm hard? Why do it have to be that I rap like what a dude? Yeah. I don't know. I don't feel like I just rap like a dude because I have, like, dude bashing songs. Uh -huh. like, oh, she admitted it. I did. I really did. She never denied okay. it. I never <laughs> denied it. No, no, no. Drake got men bash songs too. So I'm asking. Wait, wait what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do all the time. Oh, what I'm asking, cause like you know, just the the separation. Like it can't just be she's a hard MC or she's she's dope. It has to be oh she raps like a dude or she raps hard for a female. Right. Yeah. So like, how do you feel about like that stipulation? Like them putting that that asterisk next to it. Really care because no matter what, as long as y'all saying I rap hard, like that's all that really matters. Like as long as I'm going hard and I'm 
you know, satisfying the male ear and the female ear. You know, I kind of like tapping into all of that because I feel like I'm kind of well-rounded and overall. So, you know, man, I don't really care what people name it because I like being called a female rapper. I ain't one of those rappers that's like, don't call me a female rapper because I feel like... So you like Lil' Kim? No, huh? Lil' Kim? That's too bad. She was like that. No, uh-uh, I'm like kid. <laughs> You know, I don't want to be compared to another rapper, of course, male or female, but, I mean, if I get a little wine here, and I ain't tripping, you know? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I ain't tripping. Like, whatever people call me, it's still a conversation. It, it don't matter. I ain't really like, Ooh, don't call me this, don't call me that. So how do you feel like the state of the game is in Houston at this moment? Um, I feel like it's getting better as far as, like, coming together. I feel like the youth is coming together a lot. I mean, I kind of was like, eh. When they was having that whole conversation about, you know, old heads helping the new heads. Because I feel like old heads don't really help the new heads in a way. I mean, it's a lot going with that. It ain't just like, you know, they do stuff. But I feel like for the music scene, it's kind of like, you could do more. You know, everybody need a little help. So I understand that. And I feel like as a female, I don't get the, the support I feel like I deserve. As a woman, no, none, none of the old head males post me on that page. So I can't see how they say that they, you know, support. But they watching you, though. They what the what, fuck what, does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Somebody finally on Like it's not about watching me. It's right. not about DMing me my my credit. It's right. about posting me and getting me popular. Because how am I gonna get out of Houston without your support? Without support. support. Yeah, right. out of Houston. I That's mean, but they got followers out of Houston that don't see me and probably get me up out of there. Most of the people that follow them out of Houston not following them because they make music. Well, they probably follow me because I make music. Yeah, they follow it's you. All it's all like all most of the old heads, like, <laughs> they not getting followed because they make music. Like, Slim biggest following is not because that he dropping a new album. It's just because of the, the stature that he has. As but a you person. never know if Slim Thug was to post me what I would get from Oh, no, no, you, yeah. would, you yeah. would definitely, if he said, like, she's hard, just, be, just his stamp is different. I just feel right. like any, all of their stamps are different. It don't matter if it's from Houston, it's from out of space. It's just, even it's just, it's not for necessarily people, it's for me. Like, right. if you behind the scenes gas me up or talk about me, Publicize it. I feel like how am I ever going? Yeah, the, and I feel like they, not they, not them, you know, in particular, but anybody. I feel like Slim Thug was one of the first ones to show me love. So I'm not talking about just <laughs> Slim Thug, but I'm saying like, you know, if him and other, you know, people would post me, I feel like I would get, you know, I, it would take me somewhere. And for me, it'll make me feel like I'm going hard, you right. know, like. We so talk often about the women in the game not really sticking together and being, you know, saying kind of crabs in a barrel. But I've seen you with T.O.D., I've seen you with Libra Jolie, yeah. I've seen you with um, uh, Imani Scott. It's like y'all all stick together here in Houston, the same way the men kind of stick together here in Houston. Yeah, but I feel like it's, I feel like, I feel like it's a lot less with females. It's like, you don't really get love for female rappers or male rappers. It's just like male rappers. I had a male rapper tell me, you know, they don't post or they don't do that because they don't want people thinking that. What you mean? You posting me. Like, they don't, they don't matter what they people think. Rapping. Post right. me rapping? What you think we gonna be? We doing it because you post about beauty? She's doing it. Doing it. <laughs> because we doing it? <laughs> and it's just like females, they, they kind of look at me as a competition. I don't really look at nobody as no competition, so that's why I don't mind posting Ooh. my peers. Right. You know, I don't, I don't mind Ooh. posting. They not no competition. No, they not. Like, everybody, I feel like everybody that I'm running across, we all have different sounds. Yeah. Right. Different so range. it's kind of like, how we gonna even be competition? We ain't rapping the same, so. I don't have a problem with that, but it is hard, like for me personally, I feel like females don't really post me that are rappers, and then males don't post me that are rappers because of whatever reason, so mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm still gonna get it. Still, still gonna, gonna, get, gonna it. get up out of here, and I'm a bitch, so when y'all try to post me later, and I don't comment on them, yeah. <laughs> it's a real, but I remember that. So you know, when you I'm make it in the big league, who you wanna do in the big league? Tonight with ball. Dre, Lil Wayne, who you wanna? Oh yeah, definitely Lil Wayne. I feel like every time he drop a track, he be pushing my pen. I be eating some stuff up because of Wayne and Drake for sure. Because I feel like he's the male of the king. And uh, um, I like Cardi B a lot. I feel like we would sound good. I like Nicki a lot. I like I like female rappers. I like a lot of male rappers though. Like I'm a really Kevin male Gates. rapper. Yeah, I like Kevin Gates. I like I like a lot of I listen to majority male music. 
Yeah. So with that being said, how did you feel about Wayne's Carter Five album? I liked it. I know people were saying they were disappointed and stuff, but yeah. I'm, what's I'm, it next to you? I feel like don't even <laughs> talk Wayne about fan. it. Yeah, I'm yeah. a fanatic, so I don't yeah. really care. <laughs> like I know, I understand the what it is. Being a musician, right. like, it's harder than what y'all think right. from the outside looking in. As a writer, as a, a thought, you know, a thinker and stuff, it's really hard. Like, yeah. it's not just the easiest. People make it seem, that's what I was saying, we don't have interviews to catch people saying, talk about writer's blocking. Oh, I struggle sometimes. What we see is everybody going to the studio and make hits every time, you know? So right. it's just like, it ain't like that, you know? <laughs> so I feel like I love Wayne. I, I love a lot of songs off of the album. I was proud of him. I'm happy that he got out of his situation. I, I want to do music. I want her to love me. Well, you thought you could be like Future, just go on there and double up. No, um, now I know we're talking about the state of music and you know, Lil Wayne and all that kind of stuff, but I'm gonna tell you what can really like blow your career. You know what I'm saying? It's this group. I'm sure you heard of them. You know what I'm saying? They're dope, like an incredibly dope group. They're really talented, they look good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They look real good. Yeah. You know. Black and white and stuff. Yeah, we be doing all that. We wear all kinds of colors. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> one of them got a burgundy. One of them got a black with a Ken Man shirt. You know what I'm saying? With a white shoe. You know, no, so. one of them got black, white, and black. Oh, yeah. Oh, we didn't no. talk about so, your beanie. Yeah, we got the beanie. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's burgundy. Uh, Thick and Nasty. Yeah. <laughs> Thick and Nasty name of the group. Uh, we do everything. You know what I'm saying? Specifically for you, you're, you're a rapper, so we're going to be background rappers. Background rappers. <laughs> <laughs> While you are uh, doing male bashing, I'm going to be doing uh, women bashing on the oh, same song. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to do women bashing too, but on another level. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we all going to be rapping at the same time. Uh -huh. I'm not, like I'm not your hype man, so I don't know none of your lyrics. <laughs> I know some of her lyrics. That's probably gonna be a problem. Yeah, because you're gonna be excited. You're gonna be and trying I'm gonna to start singing. I'll be like, everything on me expensive. <laughs> look at me. I look expensive. So, you know uh, what I'm saying? I do know you. Oh, what? my God. I don't know you. I love your song. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, well, uh, that just, yeah. No, 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 Tell them where they can find you. Uh oh, -uh, she's not done. Uh oh. Let's go. She just threw me off. My whole picture's done. Like, I, I, no, I, 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 anyway, we okay. background rappers. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure you got shows coming up. You know you got what? Videos. I don't have any shows coming up because I'm not taking any shows. Why? The album is done. Okay. So the album is done, but when your album is done. So your album is not done. No, it's, 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 it was, so, but it, it was. She undid so, 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 they trying to get on the album. Y'all want to be on the album? We should go to the shoe. Do you see us? We need I to need be on that album. I can be the Dr. Dre on the, on the, on the uh, what's that Tony Braxton song? Oh. Oh. I'm going to love you one day. I'm going to love you. I'm to love you. I'm going to love you. Okay, what you gonna do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's our manager. That's featuring <laughs> Now, we want to go into one of your songs, one of the newest tracks that you, not newest, but it's one of the new tracks that you dropped, Expensive. So tell us about Expensive. Um, I was in the car at 5 in the morning, usually the time that I write the simp stuff, I was in the car. And I happened to think about expenses. <laughs> and I was just like, you know, everybody don't have, you know, everybody got those songs about like typical name brand things. So I was just like, how about everything on me is expensive? It's not mm -hmm. just a certain brand, so everybody can sing it. Even if you don't, if you look at fly, and then Forever 21, you still can feel these. Yeah, yeah. That thing was for your man. Look, that was expensive, was for you. You know that's what I'm saying? So, it's like, I just made it a feel good song. I feel like that guys and girls could kind of like feel, you know, everybody be feeling good and whatnot. So, that's kind of where it came from. Okay. My whole thought process of this song was different. I thought between what I had, it was expensive. Oh. 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 I was thinking about oh. 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 Like what I got is expensive. Okay, you can take it however you want, John. Okay. <laughs> it's your mind, your body, your thought, you speak. My soul girl is into this song. Okay. So we're going to get into expensive. Again, man, it's Catch-22 Radio Show. Let's get Right on you. Yep. Expensive. Jonathan said, 
Why Ray be tripping on her when other girls come around? That's what she said. Oh. I sure did. Ray, why you be doing that, brother? You like the Wendy contest. You that's can't, not what happened. You can come out this weekend and then come home. So, Ken, you, you remember the Everybody Eats uh, event that you performed at, right? Mm -hmm. So, this guy, <laughs> right here, he had one opportunity, right, to show out for Catch 22 Radio Show, right? Mm -hmm. And he did not show out for Catch 22 Radio Show, right? Oh. He lost a wing eat contest oh. to a man named Lil Booty. Lil Booty. A Lil Booty? He can't make booty after that. First and first. <laughs> that man's name was Cedric. That's the first name was Lil Booty. His name was Lil Booty. I heard Lil Booty. How do you get that name? <laughs> he took his shirt off right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what made Ray nervous. <laughs> Ray was eating and then he took his shirt and said, somebody shirt off. Ray looked around like, <laughs> I don't know, I'm facing up like, said, somebody take that shirt off. I said, why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it probably smelled like a little booty. You know, he don't smell like a whole booty. Just, Just a little, a little booty. booty. <laughs> so, Ken, what do you think about the state of female hip-hop right now? I feel like it's a lot. It's a lot of them. You know, it's, it's kind of crazy. It's like it's just as many as males nowadays. I'll be hearing a new one every day. I'll be like, wow, that's crazy. I mean, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Is it good? Is nah, it good? I don't really think it's good. Thank Why you think? Why you don't think that? I don't know. I just feel like somebody had made a post the other day and was like, dang, when everybody gonna stop at rapping again? I rap, so I be like, dang, nobody really listens to rap no more. And it's hard for me to kind of <laughs> not rap. So I be trying to like juggle not rapping or whatever. I don't know. I like I, my favorite rappers is Pop, Wayne, and Eminem. I can't really like a lot that's yeah. going on, but I like a lot of the I like a lot of the new guys. You know, uh, the ones that don't sound the same. <laughs> I, like I mean, for real, they do. I know they do because when they go in the studio, they felt like they could do it and they started rapping. They started rapping because they felt like they could do it because somebody made it sound easy. Yeah. But back then, when everybody was really going, everybody couldn't do it because it didn't sound easy. Right. So, uh, yeah, I mean, state of the new rap, female rap. I feel like it's, I like I like the ones that I like. like <laughs> I like rappers like Bloodbath, Libra, and. Yeah, thick and nasty. All right, thick so and nasty group. You just named your three favorite rappers. Mm -hmm. If you had to get rid of one, I couldn't. You have to get rid. We of already got rid of. Them. No, 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 you no, know, no, you no. Got no. But you have to get rid of them and their and full it body of work. Is out of Wayne, M, or Pac, who Ooh, you get rid of? You have to get one. Oh, Pac, he already did. That's no. Body <laughs> body <laughs> I probably would get up and give away Eminem because it's ass crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, you gotta go get away him. Because <laughs> he got a lot of crazy <laughs> music. It's like, I like a lot of his music, but a lot is crazy. But I couldn't do without Pac. I, oh, yeah, for sure. I couldn't yeah. do without Pac. I definitely couldn't do without Wayne. He wasn't even a thought. Like, so, yeah. yeah. So I mean, I wouldn't even give away. Very easy. Like, like, you got rid of white guys. That's cool. No. You got rid of white guys. No. You know, that makes you look racist. You got rid of the only white man here. Hey, that ain't racist. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Black truth. people can't be racist. <laughs> we can't. We can't. The oppressor cannot be the oppressor. We cannot. I do not believe that. You don't believe it? We'll believe it today. We get rid of one. We can be prejudiced. We can't be racist. Yeah, we can be. Yeah, we ain't gonna prejudice. I love I can just not like them. That's what it is. Think about all the rest of the universe. Man, they do. You know, they smell like gas. Come on, man. Y'all do it. They smell like cologne. Yeah, I like I'm all my white people. I'm not white folks. I don't do 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 white folks. No, okay, listen, listen, listen. Are you working this project on social media? <laughs> 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 you gotta mix it. We said where you work at a front desk. You know what? Hey, I'm I'm this is 4:17. What time it started? 4:30. What you trying to say? What you trying to say? Y'all couldn't mix with them. We did. We love you. Anyway, you already told me how to talk. I am. Okay, y'all can find me on social media. This is me. why you don't let family come to the show. Yeah, this is why. They, they, they get it. Look, 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 the last interview was like, okay, I'm out of here. Huh? Y'all yeah. couldn't meet you, <laughs> Sean. <laughs> Wait. Wait. I didn't like my last question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, y'all can find me on social media. 
following me at I'm Ken the Man. I am, not I am, I am Ken the Man. K N T H E Man. <coughs> on everything. Fuck. And on Facebook, Ken the Man. I mean, I don't even know if people still got a Facebook, but. Yeah, for sure. I do. Oh, Y'all know my Facebook page. Oh, my aunties. And my YouTube, Ken the Man. You got to type. I can watch all your videos. Uh -huh. You know, they got muscles and chest piece. Yeah. That's it your is. type. Listen, that's a type. So if you see him in the club, just approach him because he's going to give you his next hit. You know what I mean? No. Yes. yes. You give you your you next hit. I've been single for so long. Are you willing to date Oh, you single, Ken. I've been single for like five years. Are you willing to date Ken? Five. I mean, I kind of think I want to date, but I kind of don't. So we can do like are a whole show okay? called For the Love of Ken? For the Love of Ken. For the Love of Ken. I like chefs. What flavor flavor? What the contestants like got to look like? I like chefs. I like oh, tattoos. I like height. I like do. big bones. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't okay. like, like, like big boys. I like little boys, boys, big boys. I don't like short boys, though. Like, she said oh, boys. Because short. I know other boys. I don't I don't I don't discriminate. No, 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 no,